The personal transportation industry has been shaken up over the past decade or so, with the introduction of electric cars proving to be more environmentally friendly and, importantly, cheaper to run than their petrol or diesel counterparts. Bike manufacturers are also working on the transition in the motorcycle segment. While this change has been taking place, trucking has been continuing unchanged in the background. Our food, household goods and even electric car parts have been transported by diesel power, just like they have been from the start, while the industry has grown to be worth $700 billion in the US alone, more than many of the world's country's GDPs. With the huge weights involved, electrifying the trucking industry has taken a back seat due to the impracticality. But at the end of 2017, three years ago, Tesla announced plans to change this with the Semi, a fully electric truck designed to shake up the shipping industry. To understand why this hasn't been done before, we need to understand trucking history. The average haulage firm has each semi on the road for up to 50,000 miles each year. And while the average fuel efficiency figure is no more than 10 miles per gallon, their benefits far outweigh petrol power. We're talking more energy per liter of fuel and up to a 20% decrease in fuel usage. Factors that can have a huge difference to running costs over a series of years. The torque range sits lower in the revs than a petrol engine, meaning higher gears can be selected for further improvements to fuel efficiency. Finally, a lower engine speed means less wear on moving parts, meaning diesel engines can last for hundreds of thousands of miles before a major service. So there we have it. Diesel engines are the most efficient for pulling multiple tons of goods. And that's a wrap on today. Not so quick. Elon Musk walked into the room and instantly made all diesel-powered haulage look prehistoric by comparison to his latest proposition, the Semi. A quick glance at this new electric truck and you would be forgiven for thinking that it was any other normal truck, modified to be super aerodynamic. But delve a little deeper and this is a Tesla through and through. A single seat occupies the centre of the cockpit, a rare driving position that challenges convention yet provides improved visibility and perceived control over the vehicle. Sitting so high, the windshield acts as a magnet for road debris, of which there is enough to go round. Each semi gets its fair share of damage from different types of debris, with windshields needing replacement almost every year on average. Although not bomb-proof, something that Musk showed us first-hand unintentionately at the launch of the Cybertruck, Tesla's armour glass will undoubtedly reduce the amount of damage upon impact. Drag for the semi has been reduced to 0.36, a massive engineering feat that places the lorry ahead of even the Bugatti Chiron, a hypercar with a drag coefficient of 0.38. This is almost unheard of in the haulage industry, where current models achieve a figure in the region of 0.65 to 0.70. A pair of 15-inch touchscreen displays sit either side of the driver, with software running live vehicle information, mapping and even virtual wing mirrors with live imagery coming from side-mounted cameras, yet another break from convention that proves to be more aerodynamic and safer with a wider field of view. As ever, the company's variety of sensors and cameras will aid in driver safety. The list includes autonomous emergency braking, lane keep assist and forward collision warning. Further to this, wireless communication between vehicles will allow for automatic platooning, a tactic used by lorry drivers that reduces drag and improves efficiency by lining up multiple HGVs in close succession. Elon Musk said that full self-driving, something that costs $10,000 on the Model 3, could cost upwards of $100,000 in the semi due to the sheer size difference and safety factors of a 44-ton 18-wheeler. The semi's capabilities are thanks partly due to its twin rear axle setup, with each of the four wheels housing a 271 horsepower Model 3 motor. For the mathematicians among us, that's a total of 1,084 horsepower sent through the rear wheels. While a 300-mile model will be offered, it's likely that most haulage firms will opt for the model with a 500-mile range. That means capacities of about 600 and 1,000 kilowatt hours. That's more than 10 times what the Model 3 long range offers. In fact, Elon Musk shared his cost-cutting secret that the Semi is in fact built largely on parts borrowed from the Model 3. With four independent motors on each rear wheel, total torque control can be achieved, which ultimately helps prevent one of the most dangerous and common phenomena in truck driving, jackknifing. Constant analysis of the state of the truck means that the Semi is virtually impossible to jackknife. With current battery technology, that would mean that the Semi would weigh more than the average 10-ton lorry cab, which would threaten the total load that companies could carry due to the 44-ton weight limit set out purely for safety reasons. But we're not talking about current battery technology in the Tesla Semi. We're talking next-generation advanced systems with class-leading energy efficiency. The breakthrough tabless battery design is likely to feature, or at minimum, concepts from it. Key to Tesla's success will be in its rolling out of megachargers. These will charge to about 80% in 30 minutes. That's the equivalent of 400 miles on the range-topping model. 
Charging takes place via a new 10-pin type of connector. This likely has something to do with a battery pack, or should we say packs, as it's expected that four separate battery packs will help regulate charging better. Equally as important is the placement of mega chargers. A day in the life of a truck driver sees the passing of 500 to 700 miles, which means service stations and overnight stops are a must for mega chargers. But recent years have seen this distance decrease as more and more distribution centers form a network of shorter routes across the world. But it goes further than this. The time spent loading the trailer is the perfect opportunity to top up on a few hundred miles. And it's possible that companies will strike deals with the automaker to install chargers at their own facilities. A concept like this would pay for itself over time by reducing the time needed for drivers to stop on the roads. Already ahead of its time in terms of safety, technology and emissions, it's understandable why Walmart has signed a contract for 130 Tesla semis in the future. UPS for 125, Pepsi for 100 and brewing company Anheuser-Busch is 40. They will have paid $150,000 for 300-mile models or a further $30,000 for 500-mile models, potentially tens of thousands of dollars more than the equivalent diesel-powered offerings from Volvo, Mercedes and Scania. But that doesn't matter at all. Companies are willing to fork out as much as needed, so long as the overall cost of operation gets reduced over the vehicle's lifetime, and boy are they in for a treat. Three quarters of a million miles can be covered by a single truck before it ends up in truck heaven, over a period of more than a decade. This can cost a company anywhere in the region of $250,000 or more in fuel alone, and almost this much again, if not more, in repairs. And while electricity costs would not be too dissimilar, probably costing around $200,000, it's the repairs where companies will save the majority of their money. Teslas are already known for their longevity, with CEO Elon Musk tweeting photos of transmission and other car parts lasting a million miles. It's safe to assume, then, that very little work will need to be done on the semi thanks to significantly fewer moving parts than a diesel alternative. Added to this, the fact that motorway miles are regarded to be much more forgiving than miles driven in towns and cities. Tesla themselves conservatively claim that fuel savings will be upwards of $200,000, while the extra money forked out to buy the semi in the first place will be made back in as little as two years. It's no surprise, then, that by 2025, it's expected that 52,000 electric lorries will be on our roads delivering goods in a more environmentally friendly way than ever before. That's an increase of 26 times from the current estimated 2,000. Tesla semis have already been spotted both in testing and in operation by eager petrol heads, or should we say electric heads. One photo surfaced of a Tesla semi transporting Model Ys near the Fremont factory in California. We're told that the semi will be produced alongside some Model 3s and Model Ys, as well as the up-and-coming Cybertruck in the Austin, Texas Terror Factory. Bill Gates reportedly said that electrifying the cargo industry would be impossible, including lorries, ships and planes, but Elon Musk has just made one of these possible, while making it hugely appealing both financially and environmentally for companies across the world. Backed up by Tesla's over-the-air updates, the semi will challenge the lifespan of traditional trucks and is already shaking up the industry without having officially launched. If the impossible has been made possible, all we want to know is where Musk is heading next. Could it be that his personal mission is to disprove Bill Gates? Might we see electric planes and ships on the horizon? It's unlikely that this will happen anytime soon, but one thing's for certain. Elon Musk rewrites every industry he walks into, and the future of long-distance trucking has already begun its second phase.